This is Festival Foodies, where we go to fairs across the country and try three things, a fan favorite, a hidden gem, and a wacky snack. Let's dig in. Hi, I'm AJ. And I'm Allie. And this is Festival Foodies. Today, we're at the Minnesota State Fair. I'm from Minnesota, and let me tell you, this is the peak event of the year for Minnesotans. I am so excited to be here. I made extra room in my stomach. Good, because you're going to need it. Let's get started. Let's go. So the Minnesota State Fair was started in 1854. So we've been around for 160 plus years. So we have more than 300 food vendors serving up 500 different types of food, 80 of which are on a stick, which is kind of a big deal. We have nearly 2 million people who come to the Minnesota State Fair. First up is the fan favorite. The first place I have to take you is Sweet Martha's Cookies. This place is synonymous with the Minnesota State Fair. It is by far and away the most popular vendor here. Everywhere I turn, I see these buckets of cookies. It's my turn. Let's go. I actually grew up about a mile away from the fairgrounds, and as a little girl, wanted to always have a stand at the Minnesota State Fair. Flash forward to 40 years later, here we are. On the average, we sell about 1 million cookies a day. We can make about 40,000 cookies in 12 minutes. 52 tons of chocolate chip for the whole fair. So Minnesota has a large appetite for cookies. It's really become a great staple of the Minnesota State Fair. So the first thing you notice when you're handed a bucket of Sweet Martha's cookies is the sweet sugary smell yes. that wafts in your nose and makes you mm. so hungry. Let's dive right in right now. Yeah, uh, what are you waiting for? Oh my mm. gosh. It's the perfect chocolate chip to cookie ratio yes. by far. And they're right out of the oven, so the chocolate literally melts in your mouth because mm -hmm. it's still warm and gooey. You know, mm -hmm. when you're first handed the bucket, you're like, how am I gonna finish that? But then you try the cookie, and you're like, how am I not gonna finish that? I could eat this bucket all day long. Sweet Martha's is the fan favorite. Oh, Everyone yeah. knows about this place, but I'm gonna take you somewhere that not as many people know about. Let's do it. All right. Next, it's time for our hidden gem. These fries are keeping things fresh at the fair. If there's one thing I love, it's fresh food. So let's dive in. We have the freshest fries in the country. I think we, we have locally grown potatoes that were picked just days ago, and we put them straight from the, the farm into the peeler, into the cutter, and straight to the people waiting for them. So we really think we make the best French fries on the planet. We try to do the best job we can every single day. So the Minnesota State Fair is 12 days long, and in those 12 days, we use 400,000 pounds of potatoes. Uh, we use about 3,000 gallons of oil, and then we actually go through about 25 to 30,000 pounds of ketchup. So the volume is, is huge. I think the Minnesota State Fair is just an incredible tradition in our state. Okay, AJ, are you ready to try the freshest French fries east of the Mississippi? I am so ready. Oh my God. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. I love these fries because I am all about freshness. And you see the potatoes going in, being chopped up, yeah. coming straight out as French fries. They are truly the freshest French fries. Those fries were fantastically fresh. You know what it's time for now? What time is it? It's time for our wacky snack. Wacky snack. Let's do it. Last but not least, our wacky snack. Now you can only get these pickle dogs at the Minnesota State Fair. I love pickles. I cannot wait to see how they taste with the pastrami wrapped around them. Let's dig in. We started the Pickle Dog. We've been at the fair, Minnesota State Fair, for 29 years. We probably use thousands of pickles here at the State Fair a day. The Pickle Dog, we uh, take pastrami, spread cream cheese on it, and wrap a pickle spear around it. We do get a lot of repeat customers back at the Pickle Dog stand. They like the pastrami. I grew up in Minnesota. My husband grew up in Minnesota and loved the Minnesota State Fair. I've never had anything like this before, so I don't really know what to expect right now. Me neither, but let's go for it. All right, if you say so. Mmm. Whoa! You've got the sweetness from the cream cheese, 
paired with like the sourness of the pickle. Mm -hmm. It's like your favorite deli sandwich, but wrapped up like a burrito. Skip the carbs. Perfect bite right here. This is the most unique thing we've eaten all day. Definitely unique. I could go for a second. Me too. Mm. is bringing back so many fun memories of when I was a kid here. Okay, AJ, as a first timer here today, out of everything we ate, what was your favorite? I have to go with the fries. I mm. love fresh foods, and those french fries were so fresh, they were so crispy, and they were so fluffy on the inside, I just couldn't stop eating them. I'm with you, I agree. Perfect mix of greasy, salty, and yes. potato-y. All right, Allie, I know you're an experienced fairgoer, but what's your favorite food? Okay, I have to say, Sweet Martha's cookies, they lived up to the hype. I know they're a fan favorite, but they really are delicious. These cookies are gooey and warm out of the oven, mm. so fresh, oh, yeah. and you get a whole bucket of them. I don't blame you for picking mm. the cookies. Mm -hmm. Well, that wraps it up for our time at the Minnesota State Fair, but we'll see you at the next one. Stay hungry.